The video was seen around the world. It was back in 2020 that two Buffalo police officers were seen on camera pushing an elderly protester who then fell to the ground. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. Scott is off tonight, and today those officers were cleared of any wrongdoing by an arbitrator. Two on your sides, Rob Hackford is in the Information Center. He talked to the lawyer that represented these officers who has more on what's next for them. Rob? Mary Ellis, that video of Buffalo police officers Robert McCabe and Aaron Torgalski at the foot of City Hall is taken almost two years ago. Since then, both officers have been cleared of criminal charges, and today's arbitration ruling clears them of any department-related violations that could have got them fired. Arbitration is part of the police union's collective bargaining agreement with the city of Buffalo and operates similar to a court proceeding. Both McCabe and Torgalski testified to an arbitrator that they were not trying to hurt Gugino back in 2020, but trying to move him out of their, quote, personal space. The arbitrator agreed in his ruling. Jeffrey Sel Selchik said that Gugino, quote, was definitely not an innocent bystander and called the officer's use of force, quote, absolutely legitimate. A curfew had been declared following protests related to the death of George Floyd and police were clearing the area outside Buffalo City Hall. Selchik found that Martin Gugino appeared to lose his balance after force was applied, which led to his fall and a skull fracture. Here's what the lawyer for the union says is next. Two good cops who initially got thrown under the bus are going back to the profession they love and they're doing it with a clean sweep. They're mainly glad the ordeal is over. The legal proceedings against them have all been resolved favorably. The problem is you can't get back a reputation like a light switch and that's what we're going to be working on for the long haul. The officers have been suspended since the incident with pay for most of that time. A spokesperson for the city of Buffalo told me both officer Torgalski and McCabe are expected to return to duty next week. There is still a pending civil rights lawsuit that Gugino filed last February against the city, various officials and the two officers. That case is moving forward, but a timeline for it remains unclear. In the Information Center, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.